Hi, everybody. This is Jessica Stone. I'm here with Scott Garlis, one of our senior analysts uh, and editor of the Stansberry Newswire. We're going to talk today about um, what a wild ride this has been for investors and why that's taking place. If you think about it, uh, it does feel like the highs are higher and the lows are lower. And here to fill us in on the behind the scenes is Scott Garlis. Scott, why don't you start by talking about how much of the market is being managed by what's called these computer algorithms. This is actually dictating the trades, right? Yes, yes, Jessica, thank you for having me. Um, certainly, you know, whenever the market sells off like this, it feels a lot worse than when it's rallying. Uh, but the, the computer algorithmic industry, uh, or the quants as they like to be called, uh, they manage roughly a trillion dollars in assets. That's a lot. It's a lot, and it's, it's very- <laughs> How the market is that? Uh, well, it, it's, you know, think about like a T. Rowe Price or a Fidelity. Um, they're the biggest mutual funds out there in the U.S., and they manage a trillion or just north of a trillion dollars. So, I mean, that, that's a, it's a lot of firepower. And the thing is, with the hedge fund industry, it's very actively managed money. When you invest in T. Rowe or Fidelity, it's a buy and hold strategy. These guys are not. They're, they're chopping it around every day, every minute, every hour. Why are they so prevalent now, the use of these algorithms? What's, what's the motivation here? So like any other asset manager, their, their motivation is to make money. And they're, they are building models that are proprietary that the regular money managers or the, the mutual fund managers won't have. Um, and what they're looking to do is they have models that tell them levels when they should be buying stock and when they should be selling stock. Um, and these models are built for slow moving markets, not markets that are having rapid moves up and down like we're seeing lately. So that means there's a mismatch between the way the technology functions and the way the markets are going. What's the result of that? Well, the result of that is the wild swings like we're seeing right now. Um, I would say the most recent example would be going back to the fourth quarter of 2018. At that time, as the market started to implode, uh, quants were levered up, meaning they were over long equities. Um, and then what happened as the market started to sell off, it started to hit levels that told their models they needed to start dialing back on the amount of equities they were long or they owned. Um, and then as those levels started to be hit, their computer algorithms started telling them to sell. And when they sell, they don't have limit orders on their, on their sell orders. They don't have limit prices on their sell orders. They sell indiscriminately. So what they started doing was as that selling got going, it begat more selling and it just built on itself. It seems like this whole algorithm incentivize or algorithm induced trading really disadvantages people who don't use algorithms. Is that an accurate reading? To an extent, yes, especially if you're trying to you were trying to be active day to day. It's impossible to know what these guys are going to do and when they're going to do it. You would have to be a big mutual fund manager or a big hedge fund manager who's paying Wall Street a lot of money to get the research that tells you when these guys would be buying and selling. So what does this mean for Stansberry subscribers? How can they protect themselves, if at all, against this? Well, this is a reason why you want to have long term ideas in your portfolio. You want to buy good companies that you know are going to be around for a long time because guys like this are going to create choppy markets. They're going to swing up and down, but you can go to bed at night knowing you've invested in a good company with a good business model that's going to produce income. It's going to grow. So the other thing that strikes me is that, you know, Washington is always looking for ways to regulate. And certainly after 2008, we saw a lot of regulations come into play having to do with housing and credit, which were things that got us into that mess. Do you think that there is a really strong likelihood that algorithms are going to be more regulated in the future because of what we're seeing now, because it looks like they're contributing to this volatility? I would certainly think so. Uh, you know, estimates are out there that computer trading roughly accounts for 90% of all market volume these days. Yeah, wow is right. And basically what's going on is this industry in particular has seen assets explode since the financial crisis 11 years ago. So this wasn't really a factor then like it is now. And, you know, my uncle, uh, 
he's in DC and he has always told me, he's like, if you could do really well on Capitol Hill, if you could explain to senators and congressmen how to make the stock market go up. Um, and when they see situations like this, where the stock market is really going down, you know, that hurts their pocketbooks. And that also is going to affect votes. So I would think they're going to look into things like this, find out why it's happening and figure out ways to calm it going forward so that, so that the small investor is not hurt. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us, Scott, with that explanation of algorithms. It's a space we'll be watching and hopefully seeing some, um, some things down the road that may help investors and, and protect investors down the road. Thanks again. Have a great day.